What is your reaction to what happened in Orlando? Well, my initial reaction this morning when I first became aware of it was um, horror, obviously. Uh, but I'm more, uh, at this point, uh, place blame on the Obama administration uh, for failing to call this what it is, which is Islamic terrorism. Uh, and also, unfortunately, my friend, with uh, people like yourself that continue to make up these ridiculous claims about the powerful AR-15. Okay, can oh, well, I well, just... well, hang on, hang on. Let me just ask you, wh wh what do you mean? How many bullets, just for those who know nothing about guns, the AR-15 sure. is, AR is a semi-automatic assault rifle. You and I would agree with that description, right? No, we would agree it's a semi-automatic rifle. Even the Department of Defense does not define it okay. as an assault rifle. Okay, so let's call it a semi-automatic rifle. How many bullets is the AR-15 capable of firing in one minute? I'm very glad you brought that up, Pierce, because I noticed at the intro that you've revised your statement from a tweet you made last week where you claimed it was capable of firing 600 rounds a minute. Mm -hmm. And the driver that brought me over to the remote studio this evening is a former Marine with two combat tours in Iraq and now a current police officer, and he laughed out loud when I told him about that. Okay, but can you answer yeah, the question? Yeah, can you just answer the question for the, for the people who are watching here in England, where obviously we don't have many guns, how many bullets can sure. the AR-15 that was used in this latest attack and was used at Sandy Hook and Aurora and most of the mass shootings in recent history, mm -hmm. how many bullets can it fire in one minute? Aimed fire, roughly 45 to 60 rounds per minute. Coincidentally, just like a normal hunting shotgun can. OK, so just to clarify, you can, in America, I've discussed this many times, you can't buy a Kinder Surprise chocolate egg because they're deemed to be unsafe to Americans. But you can buy, as this man did, an AR-15 rifle, which is capable of firing up to 60 bullets a minute. Some would say more, but I'll accept your, well, I'll accept your description. Let me ask you this. Why, why, when you well, have such a problem... I well, let me finish, Dan, let me finish. Why, when you that... have such a problem with Islamic terror, which clearly exercises you, and you're very concerned about that, why would you want to make it easy for somebody like this killer to get his hands on a rifle like that to perpetrate what he did? Well, it's not just a rifle like the AR-15. Any modern semi-automatic rifle, modern going back 50 or 60 years, is capable of the same exact rate of fire. And I'm very happy you brought up your Kinder Egg uh, red herring, because I did some checking after you brought it up the last time we talked about this, and it turns out that choking on candy is one of the top five causes of childhood mortality in the United States, according to the CDC. Firearms, accidental firearms deaths, don't even rank in the top ten. OK, Dan, you know, you're not... Sorry, you're, sorry, can sorry. I, sorry oh, no, I, I, I can't let this go. I'm sorry, Susanna. You're genuinely trying to tell us that in a country where 32,000 people a year are killed by guns, that eating candy is more dangerous. No, I'm telling you that you're bringing up the uh, red, the, the Kinder Egg is a complete red herring. And let's talk about the 32,000 gun deaths and break down the numbers and put some context to them. The official FBI CDC numbers say that 21,000 of those 33,000 deaths are suicides. Suicides are tragic, but they are a mental health problem, not a methodology problem. And the choice of the method that somebody uses to commit suicide is never a justification to restrict the rights of hundreds of millions of okay. other people. Dan, now, can I just, the can FBI I just crime reports... Dan, can I interrupt? Because, you know, we are sure. talking about an event on Saturday night in which 50 people were killed because a man yes. went into a gay nightclub and had two guns and was able to murder them. Now, whatever his motivation, oh. and there's a distinction to be made here between motivation and the means, mm. OK? And we can discuss his motivation, whether it was mental health, whether it was a perverse interpretation of his religion, whatever it was, whether he had some issue with, with gay men kissing. All of that is horrifying right. and will be discussed. But the fact of the matter is, he had two guns. Now, there are people over here who saw that happen in Dunblane, and they completely got behind the fact that if you take away the means, 
you restrict the number of people who are murdered by guns. And why is that not a compelling enough argument for the United States? Well, uh, some of my British friends that are pro-gun have uh, given me some information that since the UK gun ban, there have been over 66,000 uh, gun crime violations. Uh, you have a knife crime every four minutes in the UK. You have one of the highest violent crime rates in all of the EU. We do not have the same number of deaths or proportionately the same number of deaths from gun crime that you have in the United the UK States. Also if you restrict the access the of people to weapons, they cannot commit the sort of atrocities on the same scale. That's simply not true, as was, as was demonstrated by the Paris attacks at the Bataclan and in Norway, the worst mass shooting in, U, in EU history, well, in where Norway, the, the, the killer same used a Ruger Mini 14. Or regularity.